Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical reports and in this video we will start with the statement get cursor. It is important that hide and get cursor are the statements which we are using in interactive classical report. They are not the events. Events are at line selection, at user command, and top of page during line selection. Now we will go for get cursor. Same to same requirement we will achieve through now get cursor. If you remember, we started with a example that we will display the data from order header table on the basic list and we will display that data on the secondary list from which particular table order item table what is the first way we achieved the requirement first way we achieve the requirement by using the system variable psi l i s e l this variable is giving us the contents of the selected row and yes, we simply displayed the data on the secondary list from order item table. Then same to same requirement we achieved through hide statement using the concept of hide. Whenever we created the basic list, we store the line items into the hide area and yes then we simply get the contents of the particular line from the hide area and we displayed on the secondary list and have you seen we are using the event at line selection because you all know whenever you are double clicking on a line Whenever you select a line and do F2, whenever you select a line and click on to choose button, at line selection event is calling. Yes. Now, same to same requirement we will achieve through now get cursor. Word itself is saying we will get, we will get where we have put the cursor. Suppose simple example. I am running the program. I am running this particular program. I am giving the order number 125. So this data is from order header table, which is on your basic list. Now, whenever user will double click or whenever user will put the cursor and click on to this choose button, Whenever user will put the cursor and do the shortcut F2, we need to display the data from order item table for that particular order number. Suppose I put the cursor here. So using the get cursor, I will get the value 1 and I will simply display the data. I will simply fetch the data from order item table for the order number one. Suppose I'm putting the cursor here. So I put the cursor on which particular pair, which particular column order number. What is the value five? So using get cursor, I will get the value five and I will simply fetch that data from order item table and I will display that data. Word itself is saying where you have put the cursor, we will get the cursor and whenever you will use get cursor statement, we will get the value 5. Whenever I will put the cursor here, using the get cursor, I will get the value 3. If I will put the cursor here using get cursor, I will get the value 2. If I will read the theory part, it will give you more and more clarity. In interactive classical reports, with the help of get cursor statement, 
we can create secondary list based upon cursor position. It is clearly understandable. We will put the cursor here. Whenever we will put the cursor here, using get cursor, we will get the order number two and we will display that details on the secondary list. This is what is written with the help of get cursor. We will create secondary list based upon the cursor position. Now here, two things are playing a vital role. It is clearly, clearly explained. One is field and another is value, value. So if I put a cursor here, so what is the field name? Order number. What is the value? Two. Suppose I am putting a cursor here. What is the field name? Order date. What is the value? 952023. If I will put a cursor here, what is the field? Field is payment mode. And what is the value? C. If I will put a cursor here, what is the field name? Field name is currency. And what is the value? INR. So in get cursor, two things will play a vital role. One is your field and another is value. Field will provide the name of output field. In our scenario, it is order number, order date, payment mode and currency. And the value will give the value. Value will return the value. If I will come on to the syntax, you will 100% understand. It will give you more, more clarity. So what is the syntax for the get cursor statement? Get cursor is the keyword. Then field is the keyword. After that, I will pass a variable. Suppose name of the variable is LV underscore field. Then value is the keyword. And after that, I am declaring the variable LV underscore value. If I will compare it to our example, how it will be? Get cursor field, LV underscore field, value lv underscore value if i will put a cursor here so this particular lv field will give me order number and lv underscore value will give me one if i will put a cursor here lv underscore field will give me order date and lv underscore value will give me 1152023. If I will put a cursor here, this syntax, LV under in this syntax, LV field will give me, will be payment mode and value will be currency. If I will put a cursor here, LV underscore field will be currency and LV underscore value will be INR. So two things you can understand where you have put the cursor on which field you have put the cursor and what is the value for the same. It is clearly mentioned the field name and field value will be returned into this variable LV underscore field and LV underscore value. And you can see the importance in real projects this is very, very useful. Suppose if customer is saying, if I will put a cursor here, I want details of order number on the secondary list. So because we are getting the value of order number, so we will display the details of order number on the secondary list. Suppose customer is saying, I am putting the cursor here. Now customer put the cursor on C. Now customer is saying on the secondary list, I want the full form of C. So on the secondary list, I will display credit card. Suppose here I will put the cursor. So what is the column name? INR. Suppose customer is saying on the secondary list, I want Indian rupees if INR is there. 
Suppose customer is putting the cursor here on the secondary list. Customer want to display United States dollars. Now, have you seen the importance based upon the value of the columns? We can display that data on the secondary list. Extremely useful concept. Now, on the secondary list, we can display based upon the column values. Previously, this is not the case. You are getting the contents of the line or you are getting the line number. Now we are getting the individual column values and we can display anything on the secondary list based upon the customer requirement. Suppose if user is putting the cursor on the order number, we will display the details of order number. If user is putting the cursor on order date, we will display information related to order date. If user is putting the cursor on payment mode, we will display information for the payment mode. If user is putting the cursor on this currency, we will display the information related to currency because get cursor is working based upon the column values. We will get where we have put the cursor, on which field we have put the cursor, and what is the value of that particular field. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with one more statement that is our get cursor. Word itself is saying, with the help of get cursor, we will get where user have put the cursor. We will get the value where we the user has put the cursor. But whenever you are getting the value, you should also also get the value of the field also because two things will play a vital role field and value because here if you talk about this scenario, we have four fields order number, order date, payment mode and currency and just see how much it is useful. Based upon the field, we can decide what we want to display on the secondary list. If order number is the field, we can go for different thing. If order date is the field, we can go for different thing. If payment mode is the field, we can go for different thing. If you, currency is the field, we can go for different thing. So what is the syntax of this get cursor? Get cursor field local variable, which will return the value of the field. I'll say field name and value is the keyword and LV underscore value is the value of that particular field. Get cursor field and value are the keywords lv underscore field and lv underscore value are the variables which we will declare lv underscore field will give us the field name and lv underscore value is the value of that particular field in the next video i will simply apply the syntax I will show you in the debugging mode and then we will write the logic for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.